I put one in and it falls down and the volume goes down to there. This is a syringe with a piston. As I push the piston in here, the air will squirt out the other end. If I put my finger over the end and now push it up, so it'll start off at 50, oh, let's go up to 30 and see if I can push it that far. Yeah, I can push it, but it gets hard at 25 and the pressure is getting enormous. And the reason is that the air is made of little molecules in here, which are bashing away at the sides of this and hitting the piston. So if I push it up, they find that this piston, there are too many of them and they're hitting this piston so much that it's pushing it down. And I had to do work to squeeze this to get the volume to change. So I'd like to illustrate this using Julian to operate this apparatus because I use these apparatus and they break down. This apparatus is a scaled up version so you can see the molecules. These molecules will move around only their steel ball bearings and they will move up and bash around as though they were particles in the air. Now, Julian, could you turn it on and we can see how it goes. So now I would like to put in a piston. Here is a, a polystyrene piston which more or less fits the thing and will float down slowly until it covers that. Now, if you turn it on gently when it gets down near the bottom, you'll see that it will bash into this and hold it. And the more energetically Julian puts the energy into this, the higher this piston gets. And if he turns it way up, it will move all the way up. And you can see these particles bashing into the piston. And as they bash into it, it pushes it up more and more. Bring that, okay, turn it off now. Coming back to my syringe, I start off with the gas particles whizzing around in here and as I push this down they hit the top surface and bounce off but you can't see them but that's causing me to have to push much harder as the volume gets smaller and smaller there are still the same number of particles in there but there's more of them bashing the top surface at, at any one time until it gets to the point where I can't move this any further because it's too painful on my fingers so I have to let it go. In the same way, oh dear, look at that. I mean, look, I mean, it really is painful. We'll turn this on up to full whack and I'll add these little weights one at a time. And these weights represent my finger pushing down on the piston. So as I add the first weight and it's got this volume, I put one in and it falls down and the volume goes down to there. Now I add the second weight. Here's the second weight, it goes in and it goes down from there, down to there. Now let's put the third one in. And it goes down just a little bit. Hardly any change at this stage because I've already put on two weights. Third one's not having much of an effect. And the fourth one, it drops down a bit more. Thank you, Julian. Each time that I added a little extra weight, you could see the volume decrease a little bit. I put on one, it went down a small amount. Put on two, it went down even more. And as I squash it, the volume changes. As I increase the pressure on the gas by putting more weights on the piston, so the volume decreases.